two thapsuses. They're very rare in my practice. Of the thousands of horses that I do, I rarely get a, a horse with a two thapsus. Um, I read about them. Uh, I, I hear other people sending horses in for abscesses. Uh, but I think it's, it's so rare that it's, it's nothing to worry about. Um, and, but I do often get periopockets, which are infections along the side of the tooth, and they're usually caused by a cap remnant, which is basically, if here's the permanent tooth here, the baby tooth, or the cap is right here, and where my fingers are, those are the little things that hold the cap in place, and sometimes those break off and leave a remnant, and they can provide an avenue for bacteria to slide down the, the tooth and get to the... Uh, root and set up an infection, which leads to a pus pocket, uh, which uh, can create some problems. But in the normal eruption of a tooth, as the tooth erupts and, and comes up, there's an opposite reaction um, that it's kind of like a think of a space rocket uh, taking off to push it up uh, in the air. It's got to push down on the earth. And same too on these. Um, new teeth that these babies have. So you'll often see these lumps down here and you'll see the, the uh, uh, they, they can be the size of a golf ball, sometimes even larger. Uh, they're not painful, it's just a reaction that's, that's as the rocket takes off, if, if you will. But on occasion, there's the third cheek tooth, which is the last tooth to come into the horse's mouth that uh, has problems trying to fit in between the two permanent teeth that are already there. It's kind of like sitting down in, on a bench seat when there's a lot of people and you try and wiggle your butt in and you got to move the other uh, people to each side so you can sit down. Sometimes that doesn't work. Sometimes there's no room. There's no place to sit. And so that permanent tooth actually um, starts to fester as it's trying to, to push down in there. There's no place to go and it creates an infection. Um, it's a sterile abscess basically. It goes into the sinus and um, and then you start to see some pus coming out of the um, horse's nose, uh, and those teeth often have to be removed. However, whenever I get a suspicion of an abscess, the first thing I do is I put the horse on 30 to 60 days of antibiotics, and I also flush the mouth out. Well, I float the horse's teeth to make sure it's really smooth so the tongue can get in and out, it has a safe spot to go to clean the teeth out and the gums out. I look for any cap remnants and, and remove those. And I also flush the mouth out with Peroxyl, which is a Colgate product you can get at any gross, grocery store or pharmacy that's basically hydrogen peroxide and it oxygenates the area. So I cut off an insemination pipette, fit it to a syringe and have the client flush the mouth out with this. It just has to get in the general area. It bubbles up and adds the oxygen, which kills some of that bacteria and makes the mouth a little bit fresher. And before you know it, most of these things have healed up just fine. So that's abscesses.